The year has come and gone, and plenty of resolutions have been made, including the popular one to quit smoking. Rock's Toledo's Nicole Collier joins us live with how you can take your quest to quit mobile. Well, for those trying to get the habit of smoking, working towards success could be a full-time job with some setbacks along the way. But a local expert on quitting says using tools that we have on hand all day, every day, can make it a little bit easier. It's frustrating. You know, we, we all know how serious tobacco addiction is and how the great majority of people really don't want to be addicted anymore. But they're just kind of stymied. And so now we're getting more tools all the time to, to help end this problem. Duke Kerr of the Toledo-Lucas County Health Department says tobacco companies are always changing their approach to reel in new smokers, teens and kids even younger. He says when it comes to quitting, the health department, medical professionals, and smokers all have to exercise the same type of forward thinking. You try to reach people where they are whenever, you know, they, they can be reached. And oftentimes, you know, we, we all have our phones and our various electronic devices that's a nice way to reach them and it's less expensive than doing ads like you know on radio or TV or billboard that's why he says the National Cancer Institute smoke free TXT program is a welcome addition to that fight the program geared towards teens who are hooked is a free text message service that provides 24-hour encouragement and advice centered around the quit date that you choose Kerr says he considers the program to be an investment in the well-being of teens you know, and some Something that could save the state some cash. These days it seems like a lot of things, let's say, are about money. And we know if we don't do prevention efforts, it costs a lot more down the line when you're treating smoking-related illness. Now, signing up for Smoke Free TXT is free. However, standard messaging rates from your service provider would apply. Kerr says if you're not quite up on the mobile craze, the health department has lots of other resources to help you quit. Reporting tonight, Nicole Collier, Fox Little News.